Halde, Resnick and Walker, Fundamentals of Physics, Chapter 4, Problem 50. Two seconds after being projected from ground level, a project is displaced 40 meters horizontally and 53 meters vertically above its launch point. What are the A. Horizontal, horizontal and B. Vertical components of the initial velocity of the project? C. At the instant of at the instant the project achieves its maximum height above ground level, how far is it displaced horizontally from the launch point? So let's solve this problem. I will start doing a uh, drawing uh, the launch, the, the launch of the project. So let's do it. Let's try to do. Sometimes it's difficult to to do the parabola. Oh, it's good. Uh, so here we have our, our project and its initial velocity. Let's do the vector, the vector of the initial velocity. So V0, the initial velocity. And after some time, the project you pass this point and we know that the displacement it will be 40 meters here so let's put it 40 meters okay so 40 meters here and here we will have 53 meters. Okay, so let's use this information to solve the problem. We know that the movement in the x direction can be described simply as a, as a, a movement without acceleration, so the velocity it will be constant, the velocity in the x direction. So the position will be described as the initial position, zero. Um, the velocity, the initial velocity in the x direction, times t. We know that the displacement after uh, two seconds it will be 40 meters so here we have two, two seconds and solving this equation we will find obvious, obviously that uh, the component x of the initial velocity will be 20 meters per second very simple straightforward in the x direction the movement can be described as the position will be the initial position, 0, uh, plus the initial velocity in the x direction, times t, minus the acceleration, it's a negative, the gravitational acceleration, times t. So here we have 53 meters equals the initial velocity times 2 seconds minus 9.81 divided by 2 multiplied by 2 2 seconds here we have squared I almost forget so solving this equation we will find the component x of the initial velocity. Let's take, let's use the, our calculator. So we'll have 
divided by 2 multiplied by 4 plus 53 this equals 72.62 divided by 2 so 36.31 meters per second this is the component x of the initial velocity after that so a and b are solved so uh, let's do the item c it's the item c we want the horizontal the displaced displacement horizontal when the height is maximum the maximum height occurs uh, implied the x velocity equals zero this can be thought uh, can be easily seen seen uh, if we think about the the x velocity is that it must be positive it will be positive when the the project is going up and it will be negative when the project going is going down so it must path uh, through the uh, through zero and uh, it pass through zero exactly when we have the maximum height uh, okay the this is the position when the the velocity x velocity ne necessarily it will be zero okay let's erase this okay so we also know that the velocity x velocity will be described by, by the equation x velocity equals the initial x velocity plus the acceleration in this case minus times t so zero equals here we have 36.31 minus 9.81 and the t the t uh, time of maximum height so the time of maximum height will be 36 divided by 9.81 so 3.7 seconds and what we want is the x uh, displacement so x equals uh, we already used this equation the initial velocity 20 times uh, 3.7 so the displacement in the height uh, maximum height will be x m uh, let's do the multiplying the time multiplied by 20 it will be 74 approximately 74 meters so the problem is very easy straightforward and it's solved